In today's video, I'll be showing you how to improve the performance of GeForce Now. If you have been experiencing stuttering, lagging, glitching, or freezing, and any other issues within GeForce Now while trying to stream your games, then by following the steps that I show you in this video, we will hopefully be able to resolve a lot of those issues. But before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, we have just hit 45,000 subscribers and that is thanks to all of your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe if you do want to see more videos like this. So the first thing you need to do is completely close down GeForce Now. We do not need it open for a second. Once you've closed down GeForce Now, we want to just ensure Windows 10 is completely up to date. So to do this, all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings and we now need to click on update and security. And you then need to click on the check for updates button. If Windows detects any new updates, you then need to go ahead and install those updates. As you can see, my system is completely up to date, which is all good. However, I do have an optional quality update available. If you do as well, I do recommend you install it and then that will hopefully help improve the performance of GeForce Now. And as always when doing updates, just make sure you have backed up any important data. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but next to download and install, I have optional updates. If you have this option available, go ahead and click onto this button because this will then let us download any driver updates if Windows has detected any. So as you can see, it's detected a couple of driver updates on my system. So if yours has as well, go ahead and install these driver updates because they can also help improve the performance of GeForce Now. Once you have updated Windows and updated the drivers, the next thing that does bring us to is updating your graphics card drivers. So you need to ensure that you do have the latest graphics card drivers installed for your graphics card. So if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, go ahead and click on the link that's in the description below and it will take you to the NVIDIA website here where you can then search for your graphics card and then download the latest graphics card drivers for your graphics card. Once you've downloaded them, go ahead and install them and restart your computer and then that brings us on to the next step which is to disable any unnecessary programs that launch with your Windows 10 computer. So to do this, all we need to do is right click on the taskbar. You now need to click on task manager and we now want to click on startup. You now need to go through the list of your startup programs and right click on any that you don't need like Skype for example, go ahead and disable one. I don't need KeyPass, I don't need Cortana loading, I don't need the Xbox app services loading, I don't need Vanguard loading. So once you have gone through the list of your startup programs and disabled as many as possible, obviously if you have a security program that boots up with your startup programs, then you might not want to disable that because obviously your computer won't then be protected. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is just ensure you do not have any other background programs running when you are using NVIDIA GeForce Now. For example, if you are streaming videos on YouTube while you're streaming gameplay on NVIDIA GeForce Now, that will have an impact on your game performance and cause issues. If you're streaming music, if you're downloading, if you're even running programs in the background, searching the web and stuff like that, that will have an impact of the performance in GeForce Now. So close all that down and then launch GeForce Now and see if that has helped. So the next thing also, if you can do this, is to run a cable directly to your router. So if you're using Wi-Fi, so a wireless connection to play your games on NVIDIA GeForce Now, then a cable is a lot more stable and better connection. So it really will help improve your gameplay in GeForce Now. So yeah, go cable, or if you're using Wi-Fi, then try and get a bit closer to the Wi-Fi point. So the next steps, we need to actually launch GeForce Now. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch up GeForce Now. Once GeForce Now is open, you need to click on the three lines in the left-hand corner to open up the menu, and you now need to click on Settings. 
Once you're on settings, we're looking at server location. So you need to change it from auto and you now need to select the nearest server location to you. So for example, I would go ahead and select EU West, which is a lot closer to me and would really help make the games run a lot better. You do need to close down GeForce now and open it again once you have changed the server location. And the next thing you probably already guessed it we're going to take a look at is the streaming quality. So this also depends on how good your internet connection is. First we got balanced which will require a pretty decent internet connection. Next we have data saver. If you are struggling to stream games in GeForce now then you will want to choose data saver. And competitive if you're looking for that slightly better latency and stuff so go ahead and select competitive because it will reduce the overall quality of how the games look but it will provide the best performance when it comes to the connection so your shots really will detect and hit those targets if you're playing a shooting game for example but to make things even better you can click on to custom and you can then choose your own custom streaming quality. So I would recommend that you keep the max bit rate on auto. The resolution, go ahead and choose your resolution, but if you are struggling, then lower the resolution slightly. So for example, I'm using 1920 by 1080, but I could lower this down to 1280 by 1024, and that would really improve how GeForce Now is streaming. And then the frame rate, go ahead and drop this down to 30 FPS. And VSync, you can turn this off. So once you have set all that, then go ahead and launch GeForce Now once you've done all the steps that I showed you in this video. And that will hopefully make your games run a lot better. So I hope you enjoyed this video on improving the GeForce Now performance. If you did, then click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.